good morning good afternoon good evening i pray that everybody is having a blessed day so far so this message was on my heart right um i decided to come in and make a quick message and it's about grinding too much or not knowing how to say no right um because i can resonate with everybody right i, I can resonate with those that have gone through trauma um physically mentally emotionally abused as teen middle age adult age right um because i am 38 plus um you know those that have lost a life right in their life like i i went through a miscarriage i've went through a sports injury I, i've been through so much things right and i remember a time in my life where i was just giving it my all right so not everybody that is trying to seek the lord is that has come from trauma or that is addicted and a junkie right or is um suffering you know with an ugly addiction whether it's drugs pornography um things of that sort right so it is okay you know i remember working so hard and giving it my all right giving it my all where sometimes i would find myself and with this anxiety right the the lack of inspiration or motivation to keep going right or sometimes me giving it all to everybody else except myself or me understanding to how to have discipline and balance was just not there right it was just not there and there was something that was missing that was not being fulfilled right at the same time so sometimes when we are so occupied and busy um life accomplishments um wanting success can take over right it can take over and it can be a negative thing right a negative thing and i believe that if, by allowing jesus to be your savior you know surrendering to him allowing him to um give you deliverance it, you just have peace understanding and love all around right and it's very important so it's okay to take a mental health day, right? It's okay to take a mental health day. If your boss cannot understand, then maybe you shouldn't be working there, right? If you're somebody that gives it your 100%, right? If you can, if you're a pro thinker, if you give it all to your work, if you're somebody who get, um, covers shifts, right? If your boss can't understand, because sometimes these businesses will have you grinding and working till death, right? And sometimes these businesses only see you as certain numbers, right? I found that out when I gave 14 years to a corporation. And because I decided to quit for personal reasons, I was not, I, they didn't even give me time to put in my two weeks. They covered my shift the next day and it was like, there's the door. So that goes to show you anybody can be replaced, right? Anybody can be replaced. Sometimes we grind and we work in these jobs and we make other people rich, right? We put money in other people's pockets, right? Because we're, giving this dream or we want this accomplishment right and sometimes we don't really have to work that hard if we know how to control our finances if we know how to be in silence not get wrapped up in the next coolest thing or not get wrapped up in living a fancy lifestyle living beyond our means because sometimes um living a certain lifestyle can take over right and, and that can be so damaged to us because we want a certain feeling we want to continue this lifestyle right you know, in the Bible, it says that you're supposed to work, right? You work. Um, and then on the seventh day, you take a day off, right? So you put in your work and you take a day off. Why do you think Jesus, like I said earlier, went to the mountains and he went to recharge, right? Sometimes you need to give your all. Sometimes you need to give your all. And um, that means give your all to being in silence, right? Taking a break. Are you giving too much to your family, right? Is your family asking for too much and you just don't know how to say no, right? You just don't know how to say no. It's okay to say no. Thankfully, I was never that type of person. Like, um, I parted from my family at a very young age, 17, 18, right? I knew that because I was born into something that was so dynamic, I didn't have to stay there. It's a choice. It's a choice that you make, right? And honestly, um, my husband my children and my mother and my and i have one nephew another nephew in prison i i love him also but that is my family right that is my unit if i were to split from my husband it would just basically be me and my kids and i'm okay with that um i'm okay with that not i 
Notice that um, it's very hard for me to keep a friend, right? Because I'm always going to keep it real. Um, I'm always going to tell you how it is in your face, right? Sometimes there's things that I don't agree with and I don't want to be around with. You know, this generation is really crazy and toxic and I'm not afraid to say, hey, I'm not afraid to be alone, right? Being alone is my peace. Not everybody is like that. Not everybody is an introvert, right? Um, so yeah, it is okay to love yourself. It is okay to tell your family members no, right? Sometimes we have those families um, that we want to take care of everybody else, right? And we forget about our own children in the mix. We forget about our own partners in the mix because we're too busy thinking of others, right? And you can be alone and you can have so much success still and still have so much anxiety and depression because you're always on the go, right? It's okay to take a rest, right? It's I wouldn't say like take a, sleep all day, take a day off and sleep all day. No, be active, do things for yourself, right? I'm really a big advocate on eating healthy, eating healthy. These foods in the market are so addicting. Sugar is, sugar can cause so much inflammation, depression. If you're eating it so much, it is so, it's so toxic to your body, right? All these cheap oils, which is canola oil, vegetable oil, um, and I know it costs a little bit more to invest in like olive oil and things like that, but it's for your health, right? Because these cheap oils are highly processed. There's omega-6 fatted acids. And if you in consume too much of it, it causes really bad inflammation to your body, right? And if you look at a lot of things on the market, that's why it's really important to relabel. Everything is made with canola oil or vegetable oil. Why? Because it's the cheapest thing out there. It's the cheapest thing out there. Um... Yeah, so it's okay to love yourself. It's okay to say no. Um, it's okay to understand that you don't have to grind it and work so hard, right? Um, my 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 husband just got a promotion in his work, so I bear I hardly see him. As it and it's really crazy how life um, plays a role, right? So these pa this past month, I've been training myself to get up really early, four o'clock, right? And I didn't understand why I felt the need to do that. But now my husband has to leave work at a certain time. So he has to, sometimes he has to leave work. Sometimes he has to leave home at, you know, 4.15. So I found myself needing to get up at 3.45 to make him breakfast, 4 o'clock in the morning to make him breakfast. And it worked out because I was already adapted to that. That is really, um, it's really special how life works out right if you really trust your instinct on certain things so my body was already preparing itself i believe for that moment right and i went with my instincts and it, it worked out in the in the long run for us right and sometimes you have to i believe that you know the bible says that er, that we are giving the holy spirit already right and i believe it's that internal instincts right so when you are working too hard, right, and if you are in management or you are in a higher position up, try to understand where your employees are coming from. They're not robots. I know this world wants to replace us with robots, but somebody can only do so much and make sure they're getting the proper training, right? Make sure they're under, they're giving the understanding that they are important as individuals, right? The corporation that I used to work for before it was all about family it was really big on family and then all of a sudden it came about numbers and time how many customers we can get out like in three minutes you know it was crazy and, and it's just not you cannot have accuracy um you cannot have you know quality within a three minute frame time you cannot do that you cannot get to know your customers get you know get things correct and it's just it's crazy how some of these businesses think, right? But it's because it, it becomes more about the dollar than anything, right? So I'm not sure if I'll be on again this week. I know this, um, I'll be cooking a lot. And I pray that everybody has um, a good time on Thanksgiving Day with your families. Enjoy each other. Be thankful for, you know, that we are allowed to take another breath. Be thankful for that you know, Christ gave his self for us, right? Christ gave his self for us, the sinners. If you believe it or not, we are all sinners in, in some way or form, right? Um, I've seen couples that have really good money, right? Older couples from the older generation, right? And when somebody asks, you know, 
on the street for a dollar or two, they look at them in such a way like it's so disgusting, right? And they walk by because they have so much pride that they're in that in their in their situation and these other people in their other situation. But I'm sorry, baby, that is not the Lord, right? The Lord does not judge. He shows love and kindness, and that's his heart, right? So we are all sinners in some way or form, whether we have a good foundation or whether we have a, a hard upbringing or just negative foundation. There's always a way out of something. Sometimes you have to go through an ugly road, an ugly path to see some kind of light. Um, but at the end, it's worth it. it. It is really worth it. You know, um, yeah, so I pray that each and every one of you have a blessed night and thank you for watching.